Hello, my name is Adam and my SKU number is 210-154-1081. Hello, my name is Maria Yunita Indriani Lamapaha and my student number is 097. Hello, my name is Dengan Dr. Bakti with student number 098. Um, hello, this is Nika Demarkyaswari with student number 096. We are student of the Bachelor of English, Faculty of Humanities, Udayana University, and this is video is a project for the intermediate listening lesson assigned from Mr. Murah Pratama as our lecture. And this is our video. The video that I will be discussing about is a YouTube video titled Could the Great Barrier Reef Lose Its World Heritage Status by BBC World News. To summarize, this headline is about how the Great Barrier Reef is under threat of losing its world heritage status by UNESCO due to ecological damage caused by coral bleaching, which is caused by rising seawater temperature, which is a symptom of the global warming issue. UNESCO might downgrade the Great Barrier Reef status to endangered, and this angers the Australian government, who see it as unfair. If the reef is to be reclassified to the endangered category, this will be the very first time this happens, which will be very embarrassing for Australia. The Great Barrier Reef, due to its scientific importance, has been given the status of World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1981, and the Australian government has spent $2 billion to improve its health. However, there have been three major coral bleaching events within the last five years, which have caused the widespread loss of coral. It is mentioned that the reason for this bleaching is due to deteriorating water quality caused by rising seawater temperatures, which is ultimately caused by the burning of fossil fuels. The report then criticized the fact that although Australia has made efforts to maintain the reefs, Australia still lacks a credible plan to reduce its fossil fuel consumption. The video concludes with a warning that states that the fate of the Great Barrier Reef will affect Australia's standing with the rest of the world. And that's basically the short summary for the audio clip. And now I'll be giving a small um, review, I guess, from my opinion. And basically, I think that this um, audio clip slash video is easy to understand because although there are there they use an accent, the Australian accent, it's not too difficult. Like it's not um, too rough or too hard to understand. And the vocabulary is pretty simple. It's, I mean, they have some advanced vocabulary, but I think anyone who has an intermediate understanding of English should understand most of what is said in this video. And apart from that, I think that the topic chosen for this video is interesting because I think that we all are affected and we all should be interested in the matters of, you know, global warming because it really affects all of us in the future and now. I will talk about YouTube video titled Earth Loses 50% of White Life in 40 Years by BBC News. According to the New Living Planet Index, populations of mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish have declined by an average of 52%, while the populations of freshwater species have fallen by staggering 76% in the last four decades. The most affected species are forest elephants with 60% decline in the last 10 years. Over the last 100 years, tigers with 90% decline in worldwide species. About 3 frog species in Puerto Rico have been extinct in the last decade or two. There are several threats these populations are facing, which are habitat degradation, habitat loss, exploitation by humans, and climate changes. The worst offender is in some western countries in the states of UK. They are not doing very well with the footprints. However, there are some nice examples also in the UK. Red kite birds have gone from at the edge of extinction to over 2,000 breeding pairs in the last few decades. About 10% of global population is now within the UK alone. It would be great to take this as a wake-up call. If you have lost about 50% of the animals in the wild in the last 40 years, this is the point where we should stop this. We should reduce our footprints, try to stop this decline, and make a change together. That's a short summary about the video. Now, I will give a short review about the video. The accent used in the video is easy to understand. The video is also easy to listen to. There are some difficulties with a new vocabulary, but the news provided in the video is very informative. That's all from me. Thank you.
According to the BBC News, Australian icon, the koala has been classed as endangered species. The number of koalas has fallen sharply along much of the east coast due to the land clearing, bushfires, and disease. Scientists say that the population in the state of New South Wales has decreased by up to 60% in the last 11 years. Executive Director on the non-profit research by the Science for Wildlife, Dr. Kelly Lee, said that the cause behind this rapid decrease over the decades are the combination of habitat loss. Many of these koala habitats are destroyed as they contain good soil for crops and agriculture. Koalas are also very vulnerable against chlamydia disease. And also the impact of the Black Summer fires that happened two years ago had a devastating impact across most of the eastern states. She also stated the development of agriculture that need good soil type has caused a big net loss of habitat over the last couple of decades and it's been accelerating every year. However, the FABC Act and increased protection has been executed to help the recovery of number of koalas. Dr. Kelly Lee hoped that the, that the decisions that is being implemented are in the favor of the koalas' well-being to prevent them from being extinct in 2055. Now, this news is quick but also very informative. The video would quickly say what was the main idea in the first 30 seconds of the video and then we were presented by the supporting facts that would help us to understand the well-being of koala when the news is being broadcasted. The video assures that the information that was being given is credible with the choice of the interviewee. The pronunciation of the words and intonations are on point and easy to understand. Now, I want to discuss the video, video title, The Truth Ravaging is American Wildlife from BBC News. At least 26 million people are struggling for food following consecutive foreign fall season in the Horn of Africa. Through condition in northern Kenya, much of Somalia and southern Ethiopia are predicted to persist until at least middle of 2022. It's putting lives at risk. The situation is already so bad that while animals are dying in their hundreds and herders are reporting losses of up to 70% of their livestock. It was a very unusual sight of a giraffe dying in the wildlife sanctuary and being told. At least 11 giraffe had been found in a few months. And it's, only, and it's not only for the giraffe that are affected. It's all wildlife, no posture, no water for them. In this northern part of Kenya, 70% of livestock die. And not only here, large parts of East Africa have been affected. This is because of continued conflict in Ethiopia and Somalia. The full impact of the truth is difficult to assess. Okay, that's all about the video. And now let's, re let's remove into the review of the video. From me, the accent used is clear. The delivery is also easy to listen and easy to understand. For the news, the news provided is also very informative considering the news is actual and factual. Okay, that's all from me. So that is all from us, and we'd like to thank you all for watching our video. Have a great day.